how to deploy a VMware vSphere virtual machine from a template with Ansible, I'm going to show you a live demo and some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's talk about the Ansible module VMware underscore guest. The full name is community.vmware.vmware underscore guest, which means that it's part of a collection of modules to interact with VMware, community supported. It's a module pretty stable and out for years. It manages virtual machine in vCenter. The VMware underscore guest Ansible module has a very long list of parameters to customize all your need to create a VMware vSphere virtual machine. This is the full list in the documentation and as you can see there is a wall of text. Yes, there are so many parameters and examples as well. So go directly to the manual because for sure it will cover your use case. I'm going to simplify a little bit for the demo. How to deploy a VMware vSphere virtual machine from a template with Ansible. I'm going to show you how to deploy a virtual machine named MyVM from a template MyTemplate without any customization, only using Ansible code so you can uh, customize and scale as much as you need it. Welcome to my editor. I'm going to show you one simple Ansible playbook. So first of all, let's begin our YAML definition with free dash and a name, deploy VM from template demo. That is going to be executed on host localhost so the Ansible controller and let me also set uh, two parameter become to false because uh, this script is going to run on current user no need for, for root and gather facts to false because we don't need the system information let me define the collection used by this code specifically community.vmware now some pre task so something to do before the Ansible playbook, only to include some variable, the one that I'm using in this code. Include vars and vars.yml file. Uh, let me start with two tasks. The first is to create a VMware folder. So let me create a folder and the second to clone the VM inside this folder. So Mm, let's set up vCenter underscore folder Ansible module. So some parameter to connect to the VMware infrastructure. First is the host name, then we need also credentials, so username and password as well. I prefer to define, uh, to use some uh, variable so I could uh, easily reuse this uh, variable in other Ansible playbook. So, hostname, username, password, what else? This center underscore password. This parenthesis means the value of a variable. And validate underscore certificate, this is the validation of the SSL certification. You can set to true or false. Let me remind you that uh, out of the box uh, as the cluster as a self signer certificate so you need to disable the validation uh, the data center name finally so this center underscore data center here we go and what else well finally we could use a folder underscore name so now the meaty part the folder name will be my vm in my use case but let me define to vcenter underscore destination underscore folder. Uh, the folder type uh, is uh, VM because we are going to store some virtual machine inside of this and the status uh, state must be present. 
Here we go. With all this bunch of code, we only create a folder. Empty folder. Yes. And now we can clone the virtual machine using VMware underscore guest module. Uh, it accepts uh, more or less the same parameter to define uh, the connection details. Okay, let me copy and paste. Yay! Only one thing that is different is data center and not data center underscore name. Uh, what else? Uh, well, uh, we need to define the cluster where, where to run our virtual machine, another variable, and what else? Uh, uh, the folder? No. First of all, let's define the virtual machine name, my VM, that I prefer to store under the VM underscore name variable. Okay, so the folder will be the same of the previous one that we defined. And finally, we could deploy our template from a variable vm underscore template. In my case, this will be valued as a my template. And that's it. Finally, we were ready to start. Create a folder, deploy a virtual machine cloning from template. And VMware is going to do all the fun behind the scene. Now let's move it on to the variable definition. I already prepared this file in the previous lesson with some uh, vCenter credential and connection detail. So let me add only the virtual machine name, in my case my VM, and also the destination folder under vCenter underscore destination underscore folder, in my case will be the same as the virtual machine name my VM. What else? Uh, also the template name, so vm underscore template. In my case will be my template. Feel free to customize. And vm underscore state. The, in my case will be power off because I don't want to turn on this machine. As a good practice, let me remind you to store password in an Ansible vault. Welcome to the terminal. First of all, let me connect to my Ansible controller via SSH, DevOps is the username, and demoexample.com. This is my Ansible machine, and uh, I have uh, all my playbook under a VMware folder. Let me list the content. As you can see, there are the file that we just created in the editor. So. Let's run together the playbook with ansible-playbook command. I'm going to specify also the inventory, there is only localhost inside, and the playbook. The execution is super smooth and actually is going to take just a few seconds. First of all, first task as you can see is including the variable from the external file and then is going to create uh, the VMware folder where I'm going to store also the virtual machine. So, mm, under the hood, Ansible is using the Python library PyVMOMI to interact via API directly with uh, VMware infrastructure. The folder creation was already Done, as you can see, there is a change status, which means some action were performed, and now is actually cloning the virtual machine from the template and create a new one. This is going to take just a few more seconds. This is the real time interaction with my cluster. As you can see, we have a recap, two action, generate some changes, and OK status is the result. So everything is perfect done. So now if I'm going to my vSphere console, I saw a new virtual machine, my VM from my template, uh, template. So what happened if we execute again the same code? Well, we are expecting a property called hidden potency of Ansible, which means that it's going only to check if the Virtual machine is already running and just in case return OK status. Let's verify together. So 
The first task is already done to include the variable, second is to create the folder and it takes just a few seconds to connect to the VMware infrastructure, get the list of folders and search for the specific one, in my case my VM, and see if it already exists or not. And we got OK status, which means a folder was already present. What about the virtual machine? Well, the task is ongoing and uh, Ansible is connecting to the VMware infrastructure. Just a few seconds more and we get OK. So everything is perfect running. So yay, good job Ansible. Now we are ready to automate more. Now you know how to deploy a VMware vSphere virtual machine from a template with Ansible. Thank you for watching and I hope that uh, I simplify a little bit your workflow every day. See us on the next lesson of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! Yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun!